basically I've arrived at the departure gate and there are six people before me who also have no seats on the plane. So basically, seven people have to not turn up on the flight for me to get a seat. coffee shop in Prague with my friend Roger. Lead in Roger. Hey. Thank you Roger. <laughs> and um, the, reason why, the reason why we're here is because Prague is like the stag party capital of Europe. I've now been married for 29 years. Next year we'll have been married for 30 years. And I've got to tell you that if you invest in your relationship, if you build love, and that's what I want to try to teach you to do, then the whole idea of like you get married and something comes to an end is a nonsense because actually my marriage is really exciting and my wife is a seriously happy person. Now it might be that you think that your wife really likes security, a sense of love, a sense of commitment and dedication and it may well be the case that that's true. But underneath all that, one of the things I suggest that she really likes and one of the reasons why possibly she married you in the first place was perhaps she thought you were going to take her on a bit of an adventure in life that life with you was going to be interesting and exciting and perhaps it may be that you've turned into a bit of a boring old man so my challenge to you today is to be less boring to do something imaginative so for example if you're really into DIY, you're really into painting and decorating and things like that, okay? Why doesn't she find you doing your painting and decorating in your underwear with some nice music on and some candles and just act like it's the most normal thing in the world? That would be interesting. Or you could arrange to, instead of coming to Prague as a stag weekend, you could come here with her and have like a different kind of stag weekend. That would be good because even if you aren't getting on too well, if you do something um, surprisingly exciting that's going to catch the other person off guard, it kind of covers a multitude of sins all of a sudden. It's like she's really interested in you because you're doing something interesting instead of the same old, same old. So, my word for this week for you is adventure. Cultivate adventure. Do you know something? I love this stuff on the wall over here. So kind of Doctor Who-ish. I'm here with loads of time because I used to always think it was quite cool to arrive at the airport just in time. But actually, it just caused me so much stress because uh, arriving somewhere after travelling just in time is quite difficult. So now what I do, maybe because I'm a little bit older. No, it's true, I am a little bit older than I used to be. So what I do now is I arrive like hour and a half, a couple of hours earlier than um, I need to be because that way I just don't have the stress, I don't have the pressure and uh, I can get here on time. And... Oh, 